Hi, my name is Troy Lewis and welcome to DEF CON 2016. Uh, I'm here showing off the Gen 4 interoperability demo between LaCroix and Synopsys. So here we have the Synopsys HAPS DX7 prototyping platform. Inside this FPGA is the Synopsys Designware Core IP for PCI Express. Down below, we have a Synopsys Phi Gen 4 at 16 gig. It's running across the backplane, the Teledyne LaCroix backplane at 16 gig, going into this Teledyne LaCroix Z416 exerciser that's acting as the root complex. On the bio board, we can sh see that this is a Gen 4 capable device. That's that first digit. The second digit shows what the current link rate is. It's running at Gen 4. And the 1 1 is the LTSSM state machine encoding. 1 1 for Synopsys is L0. Previously, the link had come up into Gen 3 and negotiated the speed change to Gen 4. Here, the Synopsys endpoint begins sending its phase 0 TS1 equalization controls. The root complex, the Z416, sees that and responds with phase 1. The, link, the equalization process then continues to phase 2. The endpoint analyzes the incoming eye using its phi and then adjusts the transmitter, if necessary, of the exerciser. The endpoint likes the root complex using preset 7, so it progresses beyond phase 2 into phase 3. The LaCroix Z416 also likes preset 7 and continues beyond that. Link equalization process at 16 gig completes. Both sides start sending TS2s, and then we start seeing start of data stream packets being communicated between the LaCroix Z416 and the Synopsys PCI Express endpoint. We then see EDSs going back and forth, skip ordered sets, and then update flow control packets. So I've shown you the interoperability demo between the Synopsys DesignWare Core IP, PCI Express, and the LaCroix Z416 both running Gen 4 at 16 gig. Thanks for watching.